So what's it like talking to an imaginary character all the time? What's uh, that like? I mean, as a performer, you know, it was definitely a challenge trying to remember all the eye lines. Yeah. That was the trickiest thing because it's not just lateral eye lines, but it's dimensional exactly. eye lines. Yeah. And sometimes there was like 11 in a scene. So I'm trying to remember those while also playing scenes with him and the kids and all of those dynamics as an actor, you know, of all the different dynamics of a relationship while remembering the eye line. It was like major challenge, which is why I wanted to do the part because I thought, wow, this is like super new for me. And I, you know, as you go through your career, you, I don't personally want the easy way out. I want to stay challenged and I want to keep growing and I don't, resting on my laurels does not interest me. I'll take the easy way out. Yeah, he's, he's different. <laughs> so that's, that's what, you know, I love it for that. And I love working with him and I love all the kids on the show. You didn't have to say that. No, but I really, said that because I'm sitting. That's true, but it's not untrue. You guys have great chemistry together. We're, we're friends. Yeah. Beforehand or no. no, we didn't even know each other. Oh, really? Yeah, no, we like, we, 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 it's like my new best friend. Three days before we started working together, we had met for about 10 minutes. And then we did a table read, and then the next thing, um, you know, we're in Vancouver, which is where we shot the pilot. I land, I get a phone call from her. She's like, hey, you at the hotel? I'm like, yeah. She's like, want to go for a walk? I'm like, this is a very kind human being. And we took a beautiful stroll through the city of uh, Vancouver, down by the seawall, and, and she was just, it was so cool that she was open and... And willing to just get to know me, and we became friendly just right away. So Dharma. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little Dharma. Yeah. You, you said about the, the technical aspect of this. Creatively, what threw you guys to the project? What well, was it like? Made you say, "I want to do this show." Well, when I first read the script, I actually got very excited to do the voice of Mary. <laughs> which is why I thought they sent it to me. And I got it, and they're like, no, 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 you're the lead. I was like, they're offering you the lead. I was like, oh, and had to like go back and read the script with that in mind. I don't know why that went over my head. But, um, and then I, the more I thought about it, the more I realized how, how many balls I'd have to juggle to do this. And then I thought, oh, well, this is awesome. Um, was that your question? Did I answer? Okay. Well done. For me, um, thanks so much. I'll do anything. <laughs> no, um, I I got the script, and I always try to find things that are a little bit different somehow. <clears throat> Most of the stuff I have I've done is some way not the norm, and this is the first time that anybody has ever uh, attempted to put a CGI character in a network comedy. And then I found out that she was in it, and the writing was so good. I thought it was like grounded in a way, and uh, about a single dad who has custody of his kids. And that's not that's kind of underrepresented in mainstream television. The convergence of all those things, I was like, this is a no-brainer. This sounds so fun, and it turned out to be a great ride. You guys know where your script is going? In other words, can you get an advanced copy of like a third or fourth script? No, no. we're like four days ahead of time, we get the script. Yeah, always a mystery. You never know where to go. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But really, I have to say, the the way they the story unfolds of um, you know their relationship and how it evolves in the first season and my entry into his family and how I... You know, make every mistake possible, and I'm so kerfuffly with the kids. But ultimately, I grow as a human as a result of the kerfuffle. It's not very articulate, but it is what happens. And we just watching this relationship grow, and and Alice become a more enhanced woman um, is really cool and beautiful. And there's a lot of physical comedy. There's a lot of romance, and I just love that we have a CGI imaginary dimension to this. There's this sense of whimsy and fantasy. We have great chemistry and the romantic story. We have all the physical comedy with the kids. There's just like so much to the show and it's really heartwarming too. So it's like and a little edgy. And they all those component parts, parts mix well. And so I think it's, I'm really excited for everybody to continue watching and see it progress. Is the evolution of the Alice and Mary, is there that relationship as silly as that makes sense? Yes, there is, actually. What kind of evolution is You that have to watch. because well, I will, it's, I promise. Yeah, no, but I, I mean, I just, I'm just i saying that because I, I can't actually give away how it evolves because it's a definite evolution. Um, but Mary, as odd as it sounds, because, I mean, she's 
part of Alice's mind. So, of course, Mary's going to evolve and react to Alice's growth as a woman. And um, and so we see what happens there. And it's really fun. The real question. And the final episode of the season's fantastic. Has the it's, chemistry between you and Rachel impacted how you play Mary or how you play Alice? Um, I think just knowing the, who's doing the voice, you know, because when we did the pilot, she wasn't cast yet. We had didn't have anybody, and um, so once I knew, then it kind of just gives a little identity to that. But I have a comedic actress in Vancouver who's on set with me, reading all of Mary's lines, so that I actually have like a comedic give and take mm -hmm. in the dialogue because Rachel records her part way after the fact. Okay, so you aren't actually doing it together? No, right? zero. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks very much. Okay, cool. Thanks, guys. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah.